What would happen if you paid 10 people on Fiverr.com to make the same exact logo? Well, in this video, I've spent $500 to answer that exact question. So I hired a very expensive logo designer and I hired a couple of cheap $5 logo designers. And I hired some people that honestly weren't graphic designers at all just to see what would happen because I thought it'd be funny. The results are interesting. So stick around to the end so you can see all all of these people but let's jump back in time to last week when I hired these people starting with Inaga <laughs> I don't know how to say her name she's gonna be making our first logo and also our most expensive logo so again all these logos are gonna be exactly the same prompt and we're gonna see what each Fiverr designer does differently I've never even really used Fiverr much before so it's gonna be a first for everybody she says craft a unique logo from scratch create effective brand design language she looks like she does good stuff like if you look here I mean this looks like some pretty legitimate branding I mean that looks really good la sopa mush these are really cool trendy modern designs if she made these she really knows what she's doing she costs two hundred dollars which is kind of like half, almost half of our entire budget that Fiverr gave us. So it's kind of a risk, but it comes in two days. We get two revisions, which is pretty good. One concept, you get the logo, vector file, printable file, 3D mockup. I feel like she's really gonna work with me on this and she's gonna create something that I'm not only proud of, but she's proud of. So I don't know, I'm putting a lot of faith in Anaga. I feel like she's a nice lady. Let's hit continue for $200. Are there any guidelines to be followed. Okay, so this is where our prompt is gonna come in. We're gonna give everybody the same exact prompt. I'm gonna ask all of these designers to create a logo for me <laughs> because I don't know, I kinda need a logo. I do this YouTube channel and then I also do like some art stuff on the side and I wanted to like, maybe I'll remake my website and I thought it would be cool if I had a nice like logo that represents me. And of course I could make it myself, but I think it would be fun to have a Grayson's Graphics video make the logo. I want the logo to be playful because I'm a pretty playful guy, but not childish. I still want it to be sleek, modern, clean design. These are the colors of the Grayson's Graphics brand. I actually took them out of this like weird graphic that I made when I first started. Oh no, that's supposed to be on the back of my computer. Where is it? Oh, it's at home. So I'm giving them the exact hex code for those colors and they can choose to use all of them or just some or just one. I don't really care. I want to leave a little bit of creative liberty for them. Another important thing to note is I am not specifying whether this is a text-based logo or an icon. Again, that's where I kind of want to see what you get from each person because I I could be open to an icon logo and I'm also perfectly just fine with a text-based logo. We'll see what we get. What do yo prefer? A flat design or... <laughs> I'm sorry, there's a typo. <laughs> what do yo prefer, a flat 2D or 3D logo? I'm open-minded to both, honestly. A 3D logo sounds kind of sick. It's interesting to see the questions that she's asking. I wonder how they're gonna be different with each person. Thank you so much for your order. I'll start working on it right away. Woo! Anaga was last seen four hours ago. Local time, 1.51 a.m. So I don't think she's gonna start working on it right away, but that's all right. I'll give her a break. Our next designer is Shandani. Shandani. Shan, Shandani. Down here it says, hey there, I'm Shan, Shandani. Up here it says, I'm Shandani. I'm just gonna call her Danny. Danny is a creative director and specialist in graphic and web development with over four years of experience. I like Danny already. She's from India. It is 5.22 a.m. She's making money in her sleep right now, which, you know, can't go wrong there. I'll be your modern negative space logo designer. She's kind of being very specific there. She's just not any logo designer. She's going to make us a specifically a negative space design. You've got something like this where it's like this is the negative space here. It's just like a circle and they carve this piece out and it creates an illusion. Here's Bunny and Rocket. Um, I mean, these aren't bad, they're pretty good. Helmet and car, you know, I think they're fun. I think they're interesting. I think it's cool that she specializes in one type of logo. And she's also one of our top three most expensive logos. The last one was $200, this is 45. We're just gonna do the base package, the starter deal, where you get one logo concept. You don't get the source or vector file? Dang, okay, well, 
We'll image trace that in Adobe Illustrator. Comes in two days. We get three revisions, $45 down the drain. Sorry, Fiverr. I hope they don't take the money back. Do you have a tagline or slogan? <laughs> I'm not a big believer in taglines. I think they're a little cheesy. I'm a social media enthusiast. They're gonna get on to me and be like, oh, this is one of those Fiverr graphic design videos. Okay, this is Stefan. He's gonna design a logo for your business with unlimited revisions. You might be taking advantage of that, Stefan. Stefan says he creates captivating, enriched, elaborate, and original logos. Your business logo deserves to be created by somebody who gets your business. I'm a professional designer offering high quality business logo design services since 2013. It's over 10 years. That's pretty good. He's $35. Again, we started out with 200. So we're kind of working our way down a little bit. You got one concept comes in three days, but you have unlimited revisions. We do get the vector file to ching. How do you describe your company's services and our products? They do kind of ask the same questions. One if they all get together in a room and decide what questions they want to ask. Do you want your logo to represent your business or some abstract solution not related to your business? I'm open to either. I am not going to give them any hints. I'm going to totally try to get like 10 completely different logos so we can all judge very harshly. <laughs> 16 minutes ago. He was online 16 minutes ago. Stefan is actually going to start working on this right away. I'm super excited about that. Wait, what? It's 2 a.m. He was up 16 minutes ago, it's 2 a.m. Stefan is working hard on these logos. Eliza Rose. She's a level two Fiverr designer and she's going to design highly modern, minimalistic, luxury logos. You can see she has a very modern, minimalistic and luxury portfolio example. I mean, it looks good. It's a little generic. They're kind of giving me a little bit of a Vista print logo generator. I don't know if that's mean to say to Eliza. Oh, but this is legit. Peter bought this logo and said she went above and beyond, always happy to help with revisions needed. We're gonna buy the $25 logo from Eliza, okay? Delivery day is four days. Four days for $25? Oh my God. We get three revisions, we get one logo, we get transparency and we get a 3D mock-up. But it's gonna take four days, but it's gonna be minimalistic and it's gonna be luxury. It's gonna be worth it. Cha-ching, we're processing your order. <laughs> so I thought it might be kind of fun if we got some people who aren't graphic designers. So this is Hoang and he is a architect which feels very similar to graphic design in a way. I mean, it's still design. They use design-like software. But I feel like Huang should be able to make us a logo. I'm an architect. I have many years of experience in architectural design and interior design. He will render floor plans. He uses 3ds Max, SketchUp, Revit, and AutoCAD software. He provides quality images. That's what we're looking for quality image of a logo. For $50, you get one room and you get one render and you get one revision. It kind of freaks me out that you pay before you get the questions because I, I want them to know. Hello, I know this is a bit unconventional. <laughs> I was hoping to use your services to design a logo. Please create a logo design for Grayson Sands, an artist and YouTuber. Logo should be playful, but not childish. Should be clean, trendy, and modern. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what the heck? That was $50, so we're running out of cash very quickly. Another one I thought would be pretty fun is if, you know, AI is all the rage. They actually have people on Fiverr who specialize in just making AI art, like from mid-journey. And I thought, you know, art, logo, kind of the same thing. We're gonna pay for his $20 package. He will send it in two days. We got two revisions. Clifford is gonna help us out with this. Wait, I think we have a message. Danny, Danny replied. Oh, this looks like a, a very automated message. Okay, thanks Danny. Okay, you're gonna have to forgive me for this. Okay, they've got a lot of stuff on Fiverr. And I saw this and I said, that's going to be a good logo designer. <laughs> <laughs> Yarin to Satin, 4.9 stars out of five. So almost five stars with 551 reviews. Yarin is a tattoo designer. So we're totally going to pay for Yarin's $20 basic tattoo and i think it's gonna be super cool which part of your body do you want the tattoo i can honestly say i did not think about that question i'd put it like right here right next to the scribble line okay start order 
Our tattoo is on the way, guys. I'm so excited for this. You should receive your delivery by October 15th. That's tomorrow. Dang, 24 hour delivery. I'm so excited. Okay, another totally non-graphic designer, but kind of related. This is an AI animation story and AI video artist. I don't even know what that means. But I saw that and I was like, that's the sickest thing ever. Okay, well, we are gonna put $5, yes. $5, only five bucks, that doesn't hurt. One day delivery for $5, that's freaking good. Unlimited revisions. Let's do it, let's do it. Just take my money, it's not my money. I don't know what Fiverr thought giving me this cash. Okay, I don't know if you've heard of NFTs before, but they are um, art that you can buy. It's like Bitcoin, I don't really know. Anga -ga K makes custom doodles and character NFT art. I don't really know what that means, but you can see some of her work up here. Kind of fun, little goofy doodles. I think this could be sort of what I'm looking for. So I saw this and I said, that looks like a logo designer to me. So we're gonna pay $5. She's gonna bring it back in one day with an to revisions. Pay now. $5. Last but not least, pixel art logo, right? This is Yusuf. He's a level two designer and here he creates Crypto Punk's pixel art for your NFT collection. Super strange, super oddly specific. I don't know what Crypto Punk's are, but it sounds really cool. So we're gonna pay the $5, the five or five, and we got it in two days, three revisions, done. It's 8.23 a.m. for Yusuf, and he was online about 13 hours ago, so he must still be sleeping. He's a sleeper. Okay, so now all we have to do is wait, and I will see you again in the future when all of these have come in. I'm not gonna peek at them, I'm not gonna look. I want to authentically experience them with you. So, I will see you when all of our many, many logos come in. Okay, um, what's a good transition? So right off the bat, this was already not going well. I was getting a lot of messages from the people that weren't the logo designers almost immediately. There may be a misunderstanding. I'm an architect. <laughs> we are not logo designers. And I said something I thought was really nice. I would really like to see what it would look like if you come up with something. I know it's unconventional, but I won't be disappointed. And I promise I'll leave you a good review. He said, if you trust me like that, I won't let you down. <laughs> let me make you a logo from architect's perspective based off your requirements. I will start tomorrow and send you the plan when it's finished. So I'm super excited to see this because I'm really hoping this is going to be like an actual architecture plan. Let's take a look. This is what we got from Hoang, Huang, the $50 architect. And uh, I will say right off the bat, I'm a little disappointed. I'm not disappointed because it's a bad logo. I'm disappointed because I was actually kind of hoping this would somehow be an architectural plan, but that's okay. I appreciate that you went above and beyond to try to make something that at least kind of like is a logo that would be usable. Give me three options. The only big difference is one's in a circle, one doesn't have a circle, and the other is in this like YouTube oval thing that we got going on. I don't know why I made the S green in this one. I've devised a colorful point system here based off the requirements of the logo. And I also just left some extra bonus points in case anybody wows us. And then we can decide scientifically which one of these logos takes the cake. You know, I'm gonna be honest, this is not my style. Is it a bad logo? Not bad for an architect making it. I mean, I can't pick on it too much. He's a freaking architect and he went and he tried to make this. So that's pretty good. So let's use our writing scale. Did he use the colors? No, <laughs> that's definitely not my color green. It gets zero points for colors. Is it playful? No, it's actually just like a very serious logo. Is it modern? I guess so. You could say it's modern, it's kind of edgy. I do like you can kind of tell an architect made it. Like it does have a very geometric sort of vibe to it, which I think is kind of interesting. I could see this being an architecture firm's logo. Three points for being modern. I'm gonna give him a little bit of extra credit here because he went above and beyond for me, he really tried. He would have gotten all five extra credits if this was an architecture plan, but it's okay, I didn't specify that. Okay, the next logo, in no particular order, this was 
Manga K, who creates these custom doodle characters. These are NFTs. <laughs> this is, I guess, my NFT. It, it does kind of look like me, especially like when I had a little bit longer hair than I do right now. It's not really a logo, but also he wasn't a logo designer, <laughs> so I can't rag on him too much. And it's not really not a logo. I mean, you could use this as a logo. It really is kind of like looking into a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of did use the colors. You can see the blue there, the green there, the yellow and the red. So he used all the colors. I think what's throwing me off a little bit is this giant cyan outline. I don't think that was necessary and I definitely don't think it needed to be cyan, but he used the colors. So I'm gonna give him five points for using the colors. Is it playful? Yes. I think it's playful. It was, I mean, it's a freaking cartoon. Is it modern? I think so, yeah. It's not modern in the sense of it's like Apple's logo modern, but it's modern in style. It, it is a high quality vector. I'm giving him that one extra credit point because again, this was somebody that doesn't do logos that actually tried and he clearly looked up my name and tried to base this off of my profile. I, I'm gonna give him actually, I'm gonna give him two extra credit points because he did go above and beyond by actually trying to make this look like me without ever having a picture of me. So that's pretty impressive. $5 to get a cool little doodle of yourself. I mean, if that's what I wanted, that would be sick. So can't complain about that. Okay, so next up is an actual logo designer. So this should be interesting. This was Eliza Rose. And uh, Eliza wants me to give her a 40% tip. I don't have the budget for that. Uh, Fiverr Fiver didn't give me any money to leave tips. <laughs> this is our $25 modern luxury logo. Let's see what Eliza crafted up for us for 25 bucks. Right off the bat, Eliza gave us two logos, not just one, but two logo concepts, which is pretty Pretty cool. I appreciate that. Let's just dive into this one here. Grayson Sands, that's me. <laughs> okay, my initial problem with this, I hate to be just so judgmental, but that's a freaking S. That's not a G. I feel like it should be a G. It definitely looks like an S first, and then you kind of see this G here second. I mean, for a G and an S logo concept, like that is pretty dope. And I appreciate that Eliza kind of gave us like, this is what it looks like on a website. This is what it looks like on the black background, which is very luxury on the black background. I don't think it's amazing. I think that the font, doesn't completely match the logo either. Like these serifs on the end are a little distracting. And I don't think they mesh well with the uh, beautiful curvature of the logo. But overall combining an S and a G, the actual icon itself doesn't look bad. <laughs> Look at that sucker. This one's got a little italics going on, which is fun. I like the typography on this one a little bit better. And I do think it matches this a little bit better. Although this is like way too thick if this is way too thin. And then here's what it looks like on the black background. Here's what it looks like on the website. Again, I think if this is for like a luxury arboretum garden that you walk into and you walk around, it's not bad. I think the loop here <laughs> is a little awkward, but yeah, I honestly think this is like a little bit of a better concept. I think the loop's a little like, kind of takes your eye like, and you just like are forced to look at this loop. <laughs> Overall, it's just a little bit too thin. I think it needs to thicken up to match the font at least, or the font needs to thin. Either way, I'm being way too harsh on this. This was 25 bucks and we got two logos and she said it was gonna be elegant and it looks elegant. She didn't use all the colors, but the colors that she used were the exact colors. They weren't close, they were exactly right. Was it playful? No, <laughs> these are not playful logos. Is it modern? Yes. Lastly, did Eliza Rose earn any extra credit? I feel like I should give her an extra point for making two logos and making uh, these little website mock-ups. I think those are kind of fun. I'm gonna give her two extra credit points. Tech Pro said that he would create an AI animation for us. So I was kind of excited to see what that would look like. And he was a little hesitant at first. He said, I don't create logo design this is my first logo design. So that's kind of awesome to be honest with you. So for $5, we got nine logos, which is kind of cool. Unfortunately, we did not get an animation. I was kind of hoping that we would get an animation. This guy Tech Pro took the same route as our architect friend where he actually wanted to try to make something that was usable and not just a plain animation because if he had just given me an animation, how would I use that as a logo? Right off the bat, I can tell you some of them are 
kind of using the colors and some of them aren't. This Grayson Sands Artisan YouTuber. That's kind of fun. There's me with my sunglasses on. I like this one a lot better. I think it's kind of funky. It's got a lot of personality. <laughs> the uh, background here is actually a little distracting. This one's kind of funky. It's kind of geometric in the background. It almost feels a little 90s to me. I actually like this one a lot. I think it's kind of fun. I don't know what's going on with this blue that's shooting out right there, but uh, we could just you know, draw over that. We can work on that, okay? This one isn't bad either, same sort of style. I like that this is kind of more of a sticker. Again, something weird's going on in the O, but that's okay, we can fix that. Boom. <laughs> that looks pretty good, it's not bad. This one, not a huge fan of. <laughs> it's just combined like a paintbrush stroke with a camera, but I don't think cameras are really what I do at all. Like just because I use a camera doesn't mean a camera is what I do. This is kind of cool, kind of like minimalistic in a way. It's kind of modern. It's pretty simple. It's just a straight up icon. It's a little abstract. That would work well, honestly, on like a social media profile. Black in personality. Kind of looks like a Pokeball, but it's not bad. Wow, this is actually probably the best looking one. When I had them like this, I kind of dismissed it. I didn't like the colors, but zooming in, this is actually probably the cleanest. Again, I like the die cut sticker sort of shape that we've got going on. Which is overall, it's just like very clean, very simple. I would just want to change the colors to be the right colors, but that's probably, that might be my favorite one. This would actually be used as a real logo. That's not bad at all. This isn't bad. Again, it's kind of playing the safe route. This is fun. This is very playful. This feels like a kid's museum <laughs> where you go and learn about the world. And then this, I don't think I like this at all. <laughs> you can't do much with this thing. It's way too long and you can't see it from from far away, it's just like this big blob. I think out of our nine logos here, I really like this one the best. It kind of looks like a Dorito chip too, but that's okay. I would say I also like this one, and I also like this one. None of them were the real colors at all. Is it playful? Yes. And especially if we're zooming in on these, I think that hits both the playful and the modern vibe that I was going for. And then any extra credit points? Heck yeah, he gave me freaking nine logos. I'll give him two extra credit points. I'll give him three, why not? For $5, that ain't bad. I keep thinking that I spent more on some of these. That's not bad at all for $5. Like one of these, I would happily take one of these for five bucks, even if it's just a concept to start with. And then I take this and I polish it off. He did have to work for me. So Yeri, said she would design us a custom tattoo for only 20 bucks. I cannot imagine paying someone $20 uh, to design a piece of me <laughs> for the rest of my life. But at the same time, all of my tattoos, like this one, is literally just a squiggly line that I drew myself. So that was free. It would be better if you contacted me before placing this order, but don't worry, we can solve this together. And then she said she watched my channel, which is pretty cool. And then she hit me with, I don't normally do logo design, but when I do, I get paid around 40 to $50. <laughs> but I think you are doing something like a social experiment. So I will not request to change the fee. Thank you, Yaren. I am doing a social experiment of sorts. So for $20 from a tattoo designer, we got this little uh, character, a sketchbook, I'm assuming, with tabs, and he is holding a screwdriver and a bubble gun. He's wearing a hat and white shoes. Now I'll tell you the accuracy of this is yes, I am wearing white shoes. So that's a point. The colors on the side, are exactly my colors. I can tell just by looking at them. The screwdriver, I think she was getting that from kind of how uh, industrial this side of the studio gets over here. I definitely have a couple screwdrivers in here. So I think that's where she was getting that from. And then the bubble gun, I posted a video a long time ago of me shooting bubbles out of my car with the bubble gun and getting people's reactions. And I think that's where she got the bubble gun from. So it's not, none of these are far off at all. And also the hat, I usually wear a hat. Today I'm not, but most of the time I do. This may seem very random at first, but I actually see where she's going and it's kind of cute. It's pretty playful and it's got my name on the sketchbook, which I think is kind of funny too. I think this is a cute little character. As far as it being a logo, it's totally not a logo. Obviously it's like a drawing, like a doodle or a character. It's like, it's a piece of art, frankly, but it's definitely not a logo. And that's what happens when you hire a tattoo designer be a logo designer. I would totally get this tattooed. I probably should get this tattooed. It would go really nicely right next to my uh, my dinosaur playing a stand-up bass. I think it would fit beautifully next to these, these dinosaurs. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's not bad. It's it's cute. I think he's friendly. I, it's adorable. It's quite frankly, it's adorable. I don't know if it's modern. I give it like a one star. It's not not modern. I'm gonna give her maybe three extra credit points for looking me up and also for being a tattoo designer who agreed to do a logo for 20 bucks. Next up, we have Stefan who said he would design us a logo and he said he would design a logo for $35 and he said he would do it for unlimited revisions. Now, I did not ask him for any revisions just because I kind of wanted to keep things balanced. And I also didn't want to look at these too much before I reviewed them on camera with you right now. So these are kind of my live reactions to it. Again, Stefan was a little hesitant at first because I didn't give him any information about what I wanted really. He was trying to get a little bit more out of me and I just said, run with it, have creative liberty. So after a few days, pretty quickly, Stefan gave me this logo and it's not bad. It's pretty interesting. What I'll say immediately off the bat is I feel like this is the first logo I've seen today that feels like a logo. Granted, most of these that we've looked at so far have not been logo designers. Feels like the font matches. Obviously this font actually matches the icon, the symbol here, and it's got the proper hierarchy and alignment. Now he did incorporate the colors here. I I think those colors are a little bit off. You can see the green here, especially. It's a little bit of the wrong shade. I'm not a huge fan of the whole gradient and, uh, and shadow thing. Might be going a little too modern, I don't know. But overall, I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's a style, it's a style. And it's not a bad logo, quite frankly, especially for 35 bucks. And if I wanted revisions, I have unlimited revisions. So I could have asked him to take out the shadow, make the colors correct. Could have probably asked for an entirely different concept if I wanted to. Is it playful? No, it's not playful at all. That's part of my hesitancy on this logo without, like I'm not raving over this thing. I'm just saying it's decent because it's not really my style. I'd say it's modern. Let's give him three stars for being modern. I don't know if I can give him a lot of extra credit. I'll be honest. He didn't really go above and beyond. I didn't ask him to go above and beyond. I'm gonna just give him one extra credit point for participation award. <laughs> okay, next up is another logo designer, Shan Danny for $45. So 10 more than Stefan back here. Let's see what an extra 10 bucks gets you. Negative space logo designer. So we got these three gorgeous logos. This is clearly a YouTube paint brush play button and the same concept, something completely different. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I think the shape is kind of just, just kind of weirding me out. I'm not sure exactly what, why the shape is like this weird like dual thing that we've got going on. I don't think we need this extra paintbrush swipe in here. I kind of want to see what it looks like if we got rid of that. You know what? We don't need these bars either. This definitely could be a little bit simpler. I almost wonder if we got rid of sands, what it would look like. I think that's a little bit more fun. Is that just me or is this not centered? If we trimmed it up a little bit, we cleaned this thing up, we simplified it a little bit more. I don't think this is bad. That's not really the type of art I do uh, on this channel. For an art YouTube channel, that's not bad. That's kind of fun and it, and it works and that would be modern, it would be trendy. This one is a little interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. So clearly she's trying to go for the G and the S here and the S is the negative space and it's making my name. I wonder if you really need that thing that's sticking out. That's the real problem for me is this thing that's sticking out makes it a really awkwardly shaped logo. I think it still works because of the way she shaped this part of the G. And I kind of like that it's kind of a funky like abstract shape that she's got going on. It's kind of interesting. So I don't mind this one either. This might be actually one of my favorite ones. I kind of like that. And it's kind of playful because it's like these weird organic shapes. Between these concepts, she used all the colors. It's definitely not childish. It leans more on the modern, almost like a tech logo, like a Google logo. Any extra credit, participate. Point. So this is our last non-logo designer logo. This is our second to last logo. Next will be our $200 logo designer logo. But for 20 bucks, Clifford made us a mid-journey logo. Let's see what that looks like right now. <laughs> this is totally not a logo. This is totally just mid-journey art of me. I have not seen mid-journey art created of myself. It's kind of weird. It is kind of strange. It's got my hair down for sure. It's got my white sunglasses, which I, I'm not wearing them right now. I tend to wear them on my head like this. I don't actually ever look through them because you can't see through them. <laughs> like I wonder where he got the inspiration pictures from with my sunglasses 
sunglasses and my hair like that. I'm gonna give him extra credit because he clearly looked me up. Let's go to our last but not least logo for 200 buckaroos. Let's see what we got. Before I get to that, I should probably mention, we actually did have one logo that didn't come in. This was Yusuf for $5, our CryptoPunk pixel art logo. At first he said that $5 for a logo was too cheap, and then he said, I'll try my best. If you wanna see what the pixel art logo looks like, hit the subscribe button, and I'm gonna post a picture on my community page, my community tab. So when you're scrolling through YouTube, if you've subscribed to me, you'll see it on your homepage. So I'll share it with everybody on there. So hit the subscribe button if you wanna see the last secret logo that hasn't come in yet. But until then, let's look at our $200 logo. All right, $200 from our professional logo designer. This is what it looks like. She gave us two options, blue and orange. And I gotta say, I really like these. I think it's my favorite logo we've seen all day. The funny thing is, it's just, honestly, it's super simple. This is clearly just a cool font that she found. I asked her if she had custom made this typography, like if she had hand drawn the letters and she said she didn't and she gave me the font. She did mess with the font a little bit, as you can see, like the Y's lifted up a little bit and it's kind of like, there's, there's a nature to it and I think it's cool I think it's really playful I think it's modern I know it's super simple and it probably took her half a second to make 200 bucks on me but that's the thing you pay a logo designer for their knowledge you don't pay them for their time this one's a little bit more funky geometric type of font she also gave them to me as just like the plain uh you know this is just the blue logo right here. And then there's the orange one. She gave me all the formats and everything like that, which the other logo designers did not go to that extensive. She definitely went above and beyond and giving me all of the files. A lot of people just gave me the JPEG file. I don't think these are my colors. Here's this blue. The orange is totally an orange and mine is more of a red. Is it playful? Yes. Is it modern? Yes. Nailed it with both of those. I love the font choice. I think it's playful and I think it's modern and I think she nailed it with that. I'm gonna give her five stars for the playful and modern. Yeah, I'm just gonna give her one point for participation um, because I don't think she went above and beyond. Some of the other people really actually looked me up and tried to like figure out things about me and incorporate it. That's it, those are all the logos. So let's tally this up and find out who was the logo design champion of this $500 Fiverr challenge <laughs> that I just got made up. Interesting results. <laughs> the NFT doodle is our winner. <laughs> the one that's totally not a logo got the highest points. I think because um, it, it, it's playful and it hit all the colors. $5, one of our cheapest logos got first place based on our, our rubric. Second place goes to Shan Danny for $45, who created our negative space logo here, which I, I'm really quite fond of. And then in third place, we had a tie between our $25 modern luxury logo, uh, which we got these two, and then our, uh, our fancy $5 AI <laughs> logos. If we're going outside the rubric and you're just gonna ask me, you know, Grayson, which one of these would you actually use? I would probably actually use the $200 typography right here. This is the one I would put on my website at the end of the day. This one fits my personality the best, even though she didn't do any extra research to my knowledge. We had a lot of great logos in here. I think we had some really good ones. And then I think we also had some really accommodating accommodating people who kind of went out of their way when they weren't logo designers to make a logo for me. We had people that looked me up and did their research and we had people that were really talented logo designers and that I could have definitely worked with more to make something that I really liked. And I also could have given them way more information, uh, which I didn't. That all being said, I think we got some really interesting results today. Let me know in the comments which one of these logos you like the best. I also had a secret that I've been keeping from you this whole video. I hired a Fiverr person to edit this video. So everything you've seen has been edited from a Fiverr video editor for YouTube videos. So that's been pretty cool and I spent about a hundred something dollars on this video being edited through Fiverr. 
If you want to use any of the designers or even the video editor, just go to Fiverr and their links are in the description of this video. And if you want to just use Fiverr at all for anything, I've got a 10% coupon, Grayson's Graphics, which you can use on Fiverr for whatever you want and save 10%. So it saves you some cash. Thanks for Fiverr for sponsoring this video and giving me 500 bucks to just spend on their platform. It was pretty fun. And if you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button because I post videos like this all the time. I will see you later, alligators.